The Whitefish Bay arrived in Duluth on July 25, 2013, on a trip that started in China, where she was launched this past spring. Here she is docked at Midwest Energy Resources in Superior. You can see her self-unloader moved over the water and out of the way so that Midwest coal loader on the right can fill her cargo holds with coal. We will first go up to the pilot house and listen as Captain Kent Powell and Scott Porter from the boat's management company provide our group of local media with an orientation to the boat. We will then move down to the engine room with the chief engineer on our way to the tunnel that runs under the cargo holds for the entire length of the boat. In older boats, this is a very dark and dirty and noisy place. On this boat, it will still be noisy, but certainly not dark and dirty. Two large conveyor belts run on each side of the tunnel the length of the boat. When discharging cargo, the holes are opened at the bottom so the cargo is dropped onto the conveyor belts that move it to the stern of the ship and up onto the self-unloader that carries the cargo off the boat and onto the dock. Since I'm the smallest media outlet in the city, I don't get to be the first to cover the big stories. After the big guys got some action shots, I was allowed to slip in and get a nice shot of the coal myself. Nice to meet you. Sperry. 
Excuse me. And it's, uh, it's, it's called IMO, International Maritime Association, uh, Organization Approved Equipment. So it's state of the art. Do you still rely on any old time methods of navigation, or is it purely computer? That's yeah. his middle name, old time. No, it's like backup. We, we still have the, the paper charts. Uh, we still take positions on the radar. Yeah, you know, yeah. the magnetic yeah. compass here, yeah. as uh, the first mate just pointed out, the magnetic compass. And when they're navigating uh, in the river, they still use visual as their primary method. They have marks. They know when people have painted their boat houses or, or cut a tree down because they, they've been up and down the river so many times that they that's how their primary source of navigation. What's it like being the captain of a brand new vessel like this? Oh, it's amazing. It's, it's a wonderful opportunity. I'm enjoying it immensely, and uh, area it's great to have all the tools to uh, do my job to the best. How long have you been a captain? Uh, 15 years. Is this your first new vessel? First new vessel. Uh, oh, just for that? On the bridge the best? Are you He's just very good. Just the best? <laughs> Did you, you want to share about what it's like, you know? Yeah, uh, morning again. Um, we have a stern thruster on this vessel as well, which makes maneuvering sure, that's fine, camp, uh, state of the art. We have the looks like about, uh, dynamic positioning years. system here, which is uh, holding your long side or holding your position, turning, doing whatever you, you need to do for your, for your positioning at the dock. Yeah. yeah, with the DP system, it'll automatically give thrust or engine movement. To hold the vessel uh, stationary. Thank you. Did you uh, bring the the boat over from China? No, I joined in Panama. Uh, oh, in Panama. Okay. Yeah. Who took it from China to Panama? Uh, Captain Kraus, one of our deep sea captains. A deep sea captain. Yeah. Okay. And Captain Furlong in the back here, he brought it from Panama. Uh, oh, okay. Well. Oh, okay. So it's the same company, the management company. That oh, yes. Cool. Maximize our, our cargo lift as well at the same time. And uh, this, this is more efficient vessel. Can you talk about the tools that you have in the fingertips? What's different here about uh, what, What's different here is the integrated bridge system, where, uh, as you can see, we have uh, the Ectus, which uh, is hooked up to GPS, and we can. We can uh, Navigate more safely and efficiently. Uh, radars are state of the art, and uh, and the steering systems are amazing. Uh, we have a bow thruster and a stern thruster, so we can maneuver much better. Hey, this is Chief Ziggy Waras. He's the chief engineer on board the ship, and he he was uh, over in China when it was being built, so he saw all the stages of it being built, and then he rode over too uh, as chief engineer from China back to Canada, arriving about two weeks ago. Huh? Thank you. Can you follow me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're ready. We're going to the tunnel. It's like a windmill. So as the shaft is turning, it's generating electricity, so you don't have to run the generator, which burns more fuel, so it, it generates its own power. Like in you know, all ship they are what we try to explain. We have generator, now with many engines, same like in the car, we have alternator, we have no extra machinery to give you power to the same thing. Big saving in energy and uh, more. Is this a man control room all the yes. time? No, this type of the ship, you don't have to. They, here We're licensed we, not to, but we do. For the moment, because it's new ship and we try to approve everything, but 
Normally, this type of the ship is people working from 8 to 5, and you log in the room, and everything is under control. We have special connection to the room. You switch, and this design engineer on the standby, and you have all around his room. You can watch TV, and at the same time, if something happens, can go down and... Uh, but we made it a company policy that it'll be manned. It's a big control room for a control room that doesn't have to be manned. Right. So yes. I guess with everything automated, though, and it's all yeah, but it's, it's all, all, all control is here. Like uh, all time, you have to go to all. We are attached to the machinery. Here is everything in one place. And there's an alarm the in your room, right? Is, yes. And the bridge. And in bridge and the mess room and TV room. Right. And you to have special selector for the engineer who is on the stand. And the only one he can cancel error, no, no somebody else, no somebody else. self-unloading tunnel. So what we saw earlier, we saw the coal that was in the cargo hold, we're below that now. And these, these uh, sides that you see here, the coal is above that. And it'll fall down from the open gate onto these belts, transfer through this loop system, and then out onto the conveyor from the inside. And that goes on the top. Yeah. So you can do 26,000 tons in six hours. Huh? We just I didn't take that one. Okay, we'll move down the door so we can make some room for the other group down. Please watch your head here. By the way, everybody got a part of us. Six hours? Yes. Even even maybe if you push really six thousand an hour and you have you can do it in five hours. And you, this ship in carry on the lakes draft uh, twenty nine thousand ton. Okay, if you go below Montreal you can take thirty four thousand. Because it's limit for the The ship is top of technology, but of course, you know, like computer, you buy today and we have something here. And you say, three days in port, and some places you have yeah, big traffic, and you have three ships like that, you can do it in cargo, going on that fence, going from that fence is running on the time. Okay. This, this open door like that, cargo is going down. That's for unloading, right? For loading is nothing to do with this. It's everything for loading. For loading is for the Yes. Yeah, because there's so, you know, the, the, the way the system was designed, it's easy to maintain, or it's easy to get to, to clean out, it's going to be, uh, the coatings are uh, developed especially for this type of atmosphere. So it's going to be, uh, is there access to that uh, belt from the other side? Yes, there is, yeah. And these are very easy, any of them start to wear out, they're very easy to take out, just on, on both cover. Pull the roller out, you slide a new one in. It used to be a welding job on, on the old ones. 
Would you mind if I had to sound like this? Sure. And what's your title today? I'm the manager of operations for yeah. Vichos Canada, which is the ship management company for Canada's Digital Okay. Lines. Can you tell me what's so exciting? Why are, we, why are we really here today? Well, this is probably the most exciting part of the, uh, the technology that's down here, is that everything is automated, which means in the old days we used to have people down here having to manually open up the gates to for the cargo to fall down onto the, the, uh, uh, the belt. Now it's all done by toggle switches inside the control room. And at the same time, they can do the ballasting of the ship off another computer screen, and we have cameras set up down here so that we can monitor all the equipment at all times for not only the efficiency of the equipment, but to make sure it's running safely. And why is it an environmentally friendly ship? Well, a good example is that we used to use hydraulic oil, and now we use glycol, which is much environmentally more friendly if, if there was ever a, a, a burst of a line. And what, uh, there were other components too, right? Well, because it runs so efficiently, we need less power to, uh, to operate them. Only. So that means less diesel being burned for the generators, uh, which in itself is efficient. So why, why so much excitement today back around all of this? Well, it's the first class of new ships for so many years onto the Great Lakes. And it has all the most modern technology that you can imagine built into a ship, from the navigation system to the engine to the self-loading system. All right. what, what's your favorite part? Or the bridge. Can you elaborate on what, what the... What the well, with the integrated bridge system, with all the navigation equipment being filtered into one spot for the captain to calm the vessel, um, it, it's amazing. The anti-collision radars, the electronic charge systems, all IMO approved, the uh, radio systems, the DP, which is uh, dynamic positioning, it's got a stern thruster and a bow thruster, so the captain can basically stop on a dime and hold the ship without having to put any uh, uh, of the crew members onto the dock to take mooring lines. The ship's propulsion system and the thrusters will hold the ship in position for as long as it wants. From a business perspective, or from like, talking numbers or talking business, why is this such a, a much better tool to have? We can run the ship with 16 crew members versus 26 or 27 on a conventional ship. Uh -huh. so and it gets things done quicker in general? Absolutely. Safer for, safer for the, not putting people at risk, more efficient, and uh, well, better for the company, obviously. All right, cool. Did we cover pretty well some of the bullet points there? That's it. All right. I'll